AVTV is a product of the AV Journalism class produced for the students of Amador Valley High School. The views expressed on the show do not represent the views of AVHS teachers, admin, or PUSD personnel. Good morning, Dons. Today is Friday, September 18th, and I'm Isha. And I'm Sonia. We're so glad you're watching AVTV today. It's important for us to stay connected, so we're working hard to make sure you know everything that's going on here at Amador. That's right, Isha. So if any of you want to send us some feedback, or if you have a great idea for a story, please do and we'll absolutely consider it. Just send us an email at avtv at rocketmail.com. Dawn's POSD is having a webinar discussion this upcoming Wednesday, September 23rd, on college admissions in the COVID-19 era. This will focus mostly on SAT and ACT updates. Their team has done extensive outreach to colleges and universities to gather how these updates play into the college admissions process. The webinar will be recorded if you are unable to attend and be made available to all families and students. To join the webinar on the 23rd, just go to pusd.edu.info slash virtual 0923. Tupi, or Tobacco Use Prevention Education, is taking applications for Tupi peer educators. Their mission is clear, to stop tobacco use in every shape and form, which includes vapes that teenagers are prone to using. The club engages in classroom presentations, field trips, meeting with the city council, and much more. To sign up for Tupi, go to Mrs. Silva's webpage from Amador's website and complete the application. Dawn's Amador will still be holding mock elections for California despite the pandemic, just as it has done in previous years. There are two methods to participate in this. First one is that Mr. Scherer, our head librarian, will be sending out a Google form for students to fill out if they wish to participate from the safety of their home, such as the mail-in ballot method. The second way of going about this is going to Amador's library, as they are welcome to come into school with all safety measures in order to place and fill out a ballot. Dons, I'm glad to share that free weekend meals will be returning starting today, in addition to meals being served Monday through Friday. Breakfast and lunch will be offered during the weekend to any child under the age of 18 in the Pleasanton community for free, and this will not require any additional pickup, as weekend meals will be packed and included in Friday's pickups. Check out these meal service pickup locations. Dons, have you needed a little extra help in classes without any costs? Well, PUSD is excited to offer remote tutoring for students in the district. This program is designed to replace the peer tutoring program we've had in previous years. PUSD substitutes are excited to be able to provide one-on-one -on -one instruction in a variety of subjects to students at Amador Valley. Students and families can go to www.pusdremotetutoring.com to not only learn more about this program, but also to book appointments with tutors. Once booked, a tutor will reach out to the student with a Zoom link for a session. Sessions will be free and last 30 minutes. Next up, we have a segment on Clever and how much use, if any, students are getting out of it this school year. That sounds really interesting, Somia. I know I haven't been engaging with Clever too much this year, so let's go check out this segment. Clever is a website that describes itself as an online classroom for students and teachers. The site is used as a hub to link different websites like Pearson, Ingenuity, Q, and online textbooks into one place. While similar to Google Classroom in many regards, it appears that Clever is not as widely used by teachers at Amador. During a recent poll consisting of 50 kids, 43 said that while they had signed up for Clever, they never used it for their classes, while the other 7 said that they used the site on a regular basis. This equates to about 1 in 5 kids who use Clever for weekly assignments. This lack of usage could be attributed to the fact that teachers find Google Classroom easier to use due to its simplistic design and direct connection with the Google suite of apps. So while Clever may be an extremely useful tool when it comes to organization for some, for others, its lack of direct connection to students and their work makes Google Classroom the more fitting option for weekly use. This has been Nick Strain with ABTV, now back to you in the studio. Now it's time for our segment series, 5 and 30, where we tell you about five of the coolest Amador Valley Today stories written by members of our very own journalism class, but in 30 seconds. Let's check it out. Welcome to AVT 5 and 30, where we bring you the best stories of the week in under 30 seconds, and let's go! 
At number five, for all you seniors applying to college this semester, we have a news update article on the UC system and their decision to go test blind active immediately for the SAT and ACT. At spot number four, we've got super cool profile on John Lester, an inspiring AV senior who recently committed to Stanford University for his record-breaking times in track. Coming third, you can learn more about Miss U's latest efforts to help students cope with remote learning through Zoom gatherings. Spot number two this week goes to the start of our newest page on the 2020 election on the local race for Pleasanton mayor and a look into the most recent dropout, Druthi Gunta. And last but not least, our number one spot goes to the fantastic repack, recap of Miss Hewitt's live yoga session on September 9th. As a special addition to this week's 5 and 30, we want to give a shout out to Mickey Lawner, who won a Best of Snow Award for her review of Midnight Sun earlier this week. Congrats, Mickey. This has been AVT 5 and 30 with Somia Sahai. Back to you in the studio. Those were some awesome stories. You can check them and many other stories out at amadorvalleytoday.org. Now, Dons, do you know someone who is stuck having a quarantine birthday? We know it sucks, but for $5, there's a way that you can make their birthday better by sending an AVTV birthdaygram. Just send us an email at avtv at rockandmail.com and you can send them a birthdaygram. All right, that's it for today. Make sure you check back on Wednesday. We've got more announcements, stories, and profiles. Thanks for joining us. Our goal is to make sure we keep you connected. So when the world shuts down, we push ahead because news matters. And remember, Dons, it's always a beautiful day here at Amador.